Okay, so it's 3708, okay. uh, paper plastic. Plastic. That's the magic word. What? Green police. <laughs> you picked the wrong day to mess with the ecosystem, plastic boy. Green police. Battery. Battery. Let's go. Take the house. Come on. You got a TDI here? Clean diesel. You're good to go, sir. Plastic boy, huh? Well, you might remember <laughs> this uh, Audi ad oh. advertising his clean diesel car, but this ad led to a consumer fraud lawsuit involving the state of Arizona. The issue involving false advertising, but it had such flair, this commercial. Now the state has reached a settlement with parent company Volkswagen uh, to the tune of 40 million bucks. So what is the money going to be used for? Well, guess who? It could actually benefit Arizona schools. So Attorney General Mark Bartovich joining us this morning to explain. And it's not like you're just jumping on the bandwagon. You were talking education all along with this, weren't you? Right. We actually filed, there was an earlier federal lawsuit, which some Arizona consumers received some checks or buybacks mm -hmm. from Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. we, we were part of that, but this was an entirely separate lawsuit we filed in state court alleging violations of our consumer protection laws, including false advertising. The ad you just saw there was an example of they were advertising that their cars were providing get better gas yeah. mileage, they were cleaner for the environment, and that was false, and they knew it was false. Mm -hmm. And so we sued them in state court, and once we sued them in state court, they tried to get the case dismissed, they fought us, but we, we um, kept fighting, and then eventually we reached the point where we got in serious settlement negotiations, and as part of those settlement negotiations, I insisted on two things. One is we needed to protect Arizona consumers that bought Volkswagens. So anybody that bought a Volkswagen that was from 2009, 2015, or leased one will be eligible for a rebate. Just the diesel or? Yes, okay. there, there's certain cars that are eligible for because yeah. those are the ones they advertise. And that's $1,000 for the consumer. Uh, up to $1,000, right? yes. Yeah. So that's on top of anything else they had. Um, they'll be getting a letter. We have a special claims administrator like we've done in other lawsuits we've successfully sued where that person will reach out to all the members of the class and they'll send a letter back and they'll get a check from our office. So we've tried to make it as easy as possible mm -hmm. because if people have been harmed, the attorney general's job is to go in and help mm -hmm. them. But as part of the settlement, there's always fees and penalties you can impose on you know companies that violate our laws. And so we wanted to do, I wanted to do something really creative. And I told our team, well, let's make sure we get money for education. And this was you know months in the making, but um, before the latest crisis. But we all know that education has been underfunded for a while. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted for us to do our part as the attorney general to try to help resolve that problem. So you're talking 20 mil, right? So 20 million dollars. Um, will be coming in, which um, the governor and the legislature can use as they deem appropriate for education purposes, and whether that's for maintenance or raises or for sports staff, whatever they want to do with it, um, they can. Mm -hmm. That's their job. But um, I'm just very happy to announce that not only Arizona consumers, but taxpayers are going to get something out of our lawsuit. Very timely. It is indeed. Timing is everything. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, and I, I said my only regret was is that um, I think Dream Police was one of the worst police songs of all time. <laughs> um, if they had used the song Surrender, we might not be sitting here today, right? But, it's sort uh, of has a Saved by the Bell vibe, yes, right, that commercial, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a little bit goofy. Yeah. It seems yes. like a parody it was, in the beginning. It was, it, remember, it was controversial at the time. And yeah. so we didn't know it was controversial because they were lying, um, but it was... Uh, Just because it, it was bad. Yeah, it was kind of... <laughs> How hard are these things when you take on a huge yeah. company like that? Oh, you know, you know, Scott, we've done this... We did GM recently, we announced that. We've taken on Theranos. We got rebates for every single person that bought a blood test. We've taken on some rent -a car companies. And, um, you know, sometimes it's not easy, but doing the right thing is not always the easy thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Liv, you've heard me say this here before, that I feel like I'm the people's lawyer. Mm -hmm. and, and my job is to be the voice and to be the lawyer for people that don't, that can't file a lawsuit, um, someone to stand in there. Because when you think about it, if you're an Arizona consumer and you bought a Volkswagen diesel in 2012, are you really going to go out and hire a lawyer and no. try to sue the company? And, right. In the and, hopes it, of getting a hundred right. dollars, a couple hundred dollars. Right. It's, it's unrealistic. But but as the attorney general, I can go out and I can hold those companies accountable when they violate our consumer protection laws, when they engage in false advertising. And I always tell folks, look, I my job is not to micromanage business, but if you're a company and you lie or take advantage of our Arizona consumers, the hardworking Arizona taxpayers, I'm going to come down on your heart. And that, that's what we've done. Is that We try not to micromanage, but if you're breaking the law, you're going to get the hammer. Do good business here in Arizona. Yes, and then we're trying to create not a Not shady business. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, so when Mark Bartovich calls you, don't pick up the phone. <laughs> no, no. The AG's office is calling. Whoa. Change my number. Well, and you know. He may be giving you money. You know, yeah, this is, is the hard part. You know that we've been on here before talking about scams. And, and most right. of the time, if you get a letter or something, you know, even I have the natural reaction to throw it up. Like, right. all right, someone's going to send us money. But if you bought a Volkswagen <laughs> and you get a letter legit. saying, send this back into the attorney general, Yes, please send it back in. It's not a scam. Um, All right. So.
Attorney General Mark Rinovich, thank you so much for your time. Always Good to see you. Say hello to mom for us. I will. Hopefully yeah. she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Arizona.